Welcome everyone. A more of touring the world uh, through the bottle of beer. Well, I got an interesting uh, set of uh, 24 international beer. Um, this is a little set that was sold off of Amazon. And um, what's nice is they're, of course, all in bottles, which is really the only way to taste anything. Um, drinking out of aluminum and plastic is not only toxic, it ruins the flavor. So here we got an interesting beer. I don't know how many people have ever even seen this. I don't think I've ever tried this before. Carib, this is a beer from Trinidad, Tobago. Um... And what's nice is this kit came with a little guide of what these beer, where they're from. The company was started in 1947. Um, tells you what temperature to serve it at. Uh, it's a lager, which is a, a light uh, type of beer, but lager, pilsner, um, etc. are all pretty much mixed together. It has 5% alcohol. It has this uh, golden yellow cover, a uh, color that usually means trouble. Light uh, yellowish beers tend to taste bad, but we'll find out. It also tells you what's in here, which is very interesting. Um, of course, it has hops, b uh, barley hops, regular hops. It has uh, sugar in here twice, supposedly. Now, this is where uh, there becomes some debate of whether beer is good if it has sugar in it. The German purity laws, which sugar makes beer um, ferment faster, um, and that's not considered good. But you've got to remember that most laws out there, particularly German laws, are there to protect their industry. So, um, while other people could make beer better and cheaper, you had to, and faster... Uh, you had to use sugar to do that. So to keep others out, they call it the purity laws. But, you know, keeping something pure that tastes bitter and crappy is not a good law. But it is if you want to take care of your own Brewsters. So this apparently seems to have a lot of sugar in it. Let's see if that's the case at all. But, of course, that's to ferment it faster and to make it faster, which uh, theoretically should also bring the price down. Now, uh, we'll just have to see with that. So... Let's open this up. And uh, like so many, and even in uh, Germany in particular, twist tops are not common. And they're just barely coming into use. That shows you how behind the times um, Europe in general is. So let's pour this out and see exactly uh, what this looks like. So it's very foamy. It seems to have an awful lot of carbonation here. This may be from the sugar more than you see in other beers, um, uh, which is interesting. Um, let, well, it always gets down to the taste. Ultimately, is it, do you like it or not? Even though there are standards of what is good or not. If you like to eat raw hamburger meat, you may like that, but that ain't good. So let's take a look at this. As I said, it's interesting while wow, this is, uh, looks so overly carbonated, which means that's probably, as I said, from all the sugar that seems to be in here. And, you know, you got to give it a minute or two, I found here, that let your palate take all the flavors in. You can't just swallow something or taste it instantly and make a decision on it. You know, I see this particularly on TV all the time. Somebody uh, is given a piece of food, they bite it. Oh, it's how do you know you haven't chewed it or swallowed it? Not only that, your taste buds take a few minutes to react to things uh, as it takes in the sweets and the sugars and everything else. Um, so let's pour the rest in here. As I said, this is Carib, or Carib, however you want to pronounce it. Caribbean or Caribbean, which is it? Why is there two ways to say one word? So let's try this again. Well, it's not a very good beer. It's on the bitter side, and apparently even with all those sugars in it, which apparently was added just to make it ferment faster, 
uh, so that uh, they can make it quicker and cheaper, um, didn't do anything for it. There's really no robust flavors here. You're not getting a good hop flavor. And that's what beer is. You've got to remember there's several types of beers, um, light beers, dark beers as well. There's also ales. And the difference usually is, is that the lagers, the pilsners, tend to uh, be fermented on the bottom of the barrel. They ferment at the bottom. And this is part of a cold process of fermentation. And ales ferment on the top, which is why they're so easy to make. But they're all kind of beers. Do you like one another? The British are known for their ales, and so are other people. Sometimes they name things ales, but most beers are the most popular types of these lagers, etc., which tend to be a little bit on the uh, bitter side. And certainly this is a bitter beer. This is not a good beer. Um, the aftertaste to it and everything else comes out to be bitter. There isn't much flavor here, and that's what you're looking for. And anybody can do that. And if you're going to add all these sugars to it, well, you should be adding a little more flavor. So, basically, this beer gets on a scale of 1 to 10. I would give this beer a 3. Until next time.